This is the front line in the hunt for Omicron in the U.S. After you finish that often uncomfortable COVID test. You're doing great. Perfect. Next nostril. It's usually shipped to a place like Mako Medical Laboratories, just outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. 10,000 square feet, just COVID processing. Mako sequences samples taken in more than 40 states. 30,000 per day is how many we're processing right now, so that's about 100,000 or so per week. Labs like this are key in detecting the Omicron variant in the United States because of what they do after identifying a positive test. As of right now, we are at the point where we're sequencing every positive that we get. Genomic sequencing, complicated and expensive testing that reveals the precise genetic lineage of the virus, is the only way to identify new COVID-19 variants. Mako was one of just over 60 labs that does sequencing for the CDC's National Strain Surveillance yeah. Network. I would say it takes between two to three days to actually fully get the sequence from confirming a sample as positive to library prepping the DNA and then to actually sequencing that library. The World Health Organization and the CDC declared Omicron a variant of concern after it was flagged by scientists in South Africa. A mutation in the Omicron variant causes a peculiar test result called an S-gene dropout. N-gene is the blue curve and then the green curve is the S-gene. It would normally be up there with them? Yeah. So Typically they're all grouped pretty closely together. Because making a suspicious case easy to spot for expedited sequencing. Right. We have about six samples right now that have that signature S-gene dropout. But sequencing is required to confirm Omicron because it isn't the only variant with that type of marker. Scientists at Mako say they've seen many different variants throughout the pandemic. Some, like Delta, become the dominant strain, while others fade quickly or never take off. Right now, there's no way to know what type of impact Omicron could have on the U.S. But they agree that when it comes to cracking COVID, knowledge is power. That every time it transmits from a person to another person, it's another chance for the virus to mutate and change into something different. So, you know, being able to monitor it, it really highlights the importance of testing, right? Because without the testing, you really have no baseline to understand what's going on.